by skin color in order to be inclusive. This middle school in Lafayette, Louisiana wants racially conscious white students. And on and on and on. But you know, my favorite story in all of this is one about a Michigan school compiling a dossier of parents who commented negatively on the school's virtual learning policy. The school superintendent went as far as to call a parent's employer and tell them that she did a bad thing. She was subsequently fired. Now, there is plenty to be said about the state of the education system, but we don't have enough time to get into it today, but I am actually happy to make another video deep. <laughs> But even so, I still hope that this video illustrates, at least in part, some of the lunacy that is going on in relation to The issue, it seems, is that teachers see themselves as political activists, doling out justice for children while simultaneously shaming them for being white or making black students feel victimized. In addition to that, there's the oversharing issue and the fact that teachers are pushing their value systems onto kids with not enough pushback from school boards and parents themselves. It gives you a very good insight into how progressivism is taking a hold and strangling the life out of the knowledge that your kids could potentially have. And that is alarming. Much as I personally enjoy a good laugh at radical leftists, all of this is exceedingly